hi guys um so I've decided this month I'm having a big clean out I'm going to clean out the house and get rid of a lot of old things that I don't use anymore and start organising my arts and crafts stuff properly I know I say that's on every video but I start it and then I'm like where what do I do here so I'm going to organise my art stuff a lot better um, I already have started having a clear out in the house I've got like um, team bags of stuff that needs to be took to the dump um, but I'm also going to have a clear out on my social media now my Facebook I've basically had like I check that every so often like my friends list I check it every like six months or so and see if there's anybody that I can like that I don't want to own my friends list anymore like there's a lot of people that I've got my friends list that I don't talk to ever like they add me but they never talk to me and it's like well you know um and like if I don't know them I'll accept them I'll accept most people because it's mostly all art people and I know that and I've seen their faces on the groups or whatever but I accept them but I'm like if they're adding me I don't like really make the first move it's like you know I think to myself well they must be adding me for a reason to chat to me or whatever but I don't know but um, we don't talk much to a lot, I don't talk much to a lot of people on my list so um, but some of them I like to keep on there because they share a lot of their art and stuff on their Facebook page so it's a good inspiration for me as well um, so my friends list at the moment I would say is okay um, group wise I think I may be removing myself from a few groups because I'm not active in most groups um, I, I'm starting to get to stage I'm not really active in my own group never mind other people's groups um, so I'll probably be removing myself from some groups Pinterest I need to sort out my boards and there put them into better categories um, YouTube now I've noticed on YouTube that a lot of my regular people that I watch all the time when I'm going onto their page it's telling me to subscribe again but I've heard people say that the more people you subscribe to the more people get knocked off your subscriptions um, and then you need to go and subscribe to them again so what I'm thinking is I've got two accounts I've got one that I actually just watch videos on I watch it on my main account like Manny XHX I do watch on there but I've also got another account that I can watch on as well and I've, that account I use to subscribe to like my photoshop people and stuff like that that's not really like mixed media kind of related they're like digital so I like to keep them kind of separate and go on to that account for time to time to check out their videos um, so what I'm thinking is I'm thinking the people that I'm subscribed to over like 500 people on my XHX account but only 377 people are subscribed to me so what I'm thinking is I'm going to start sorting through my subscriptions and seeing who I'm subscribed to and who I watch regularly because come on it's not as if I watch 500 odd people every day I struggle to watch like 10 of my regular people that I watch all the time a day never mind 500 odd people so what I'll do is I'll still support them the people that I'm subscribed to but what I'll do is I'll support them from my other account um, so they're still getting that sub so really with me taking them off my Annie XH account XHX account isn't it really they're not really losing a sub because I'm going to resub from my other account and keep my regular people that I like to watch and like the people that watch me a lot and comment and stuff like that a lot on my videos or I comment on their videos or whatever I'll probably keep them 
more on my Annex HX but move the other ones that have not really interacted with me but I still like watching their videos then I'll move them to my other account um, so yeah so that's my plan it's going to take me a bit of time to get properly organised between organising the house and then organising my social media yeah so really all I need to organise really is my Facebook look through all my groups, see what groups I want to stay a member of. My Pinterest needs really organised. So if anybody that is a regular Pinterest and loves Pinterest and it'd be great if maybe some of you could do some videos on how you organise your boards. Like, you know, what categories you put them in, what, what way do you like to organise them. If he's doing maybe a video showing your, your Pinterest and what way you've got to organise, maybe explain why you've got to organise that way, that would be great. Um, if anybody watches this video that's willing to do that, then tell me in the, the comments that you're willing to make a video so I can go and check these out. Um, so yeah, if he's got any tips, like what's the best way to organise it, you know that kind of way so that would be great if you just could give me some tips on Pinterest and how we organise better um, as I say Facebook I'll just probably be looking through some groups and seeing what ones I want to stay in what ones I don't and then as I say YouTube um, so I've got a lot to do on YouTube but I'll probably just do like three or four maybe a few a day like unsubscribe and then resubscribe from my other account because it's easy all you do is switch accounts so if any is notice it is a lot as you know, most of the people I'm subscribed to has got like thousands of subbies so you probably wouldn't have noticed a wee one missing. Um so if you do notice that you have lost one subscriber, don't worry about it because you'll be getting subscribed in the next day or so after that from my other account. And yeah, so that'll be that. Um what I'll do is I'll put a picture on my other account as well of me so that you can tell it's me. Um, I'll probably just use the same picture as I use on my Annie XHX account. Um, well, put it as well, if you get an Annie then you'll know it's me probably. So. <laughs> yeah, so that is what my plan is guys it is 20 to what, 22 in the morning and I can't sleep because my head's buzzing of everything that I need to get done um, but I'm just going to take it slowly and just do a wee bit at a time um, but yeah I'll just try to get things organised um, I don't know if he's want what, what he's like to see my do you, like I want to ask you um, a question how many is actually like my what's in my bag videos um, I know that not a lot of people like hauls but I don't know like I do get asked from a few people when you're doing your what's in your bag video but I noticed the other week that when I was looking at my what you call the analytics is it analytics that I noticed that somebody had actually unsubscribed to me from that video so I'm kind of you know I don't know whether to keep it or not know that I'm saying the end really because like I, I try to encourage people and say to people look if you get a thumbs down or you lose a subscriber for something then don't let it get to you but I'm, I should really be take my own advice but it's not upsetting me or anything, I'm just thinking, well, is it worth doing it if I'm, you know, but I don't know. I think I will just continue doing it, guys. I don't know. Um, I did do one earlier, but I messed it up at the end. I can't even remember what I'd done wrong, but I'd done something wrong. Oh, no, that's what it was. I kind of, it started off as a haul, 
and then I went on a bit a big story about how I was what I was gonna do with my money alone, which could have been done on a separate video. So I stopped the video. Um so I might try and edit it. I don't know. I don't know. Or I'll just do a new one. But I didn't really get a lot. Um you know, I just get like card and I never went anything special. Um so no, I, I don't even know if it's really worth doing it, you know, because I, I didn't really get a lot today. Um, I'm trying not to get a lot when I'm out because I don't want to be adding even more stuff to the big collections of stuff that I've got to clean and get ready already, you know, so. But I have got ideas for certain things, like I made... <sighs> I made a mini album, my first mini album, now I will put a video up of that, I've not actually, like, I've never done it on camera, I my eyes going all red because it's, like, getting late and I'm getting tired now. Um, I've never done a video of me making the album, but, um, I have done a video of me showing, showing it off, but it's a work in progress. Proce progress, process, working process, progress. I don't even know, how do you say it? Is it work in progress or a work in process? Progress or not? Progress? Aye, a work in progress, yeah. Um, I'm too tired to think. Um, so, that's basically, I was just showing it and, um, Sorry. But I was talking to Sarah today, the cranky crafter, and um, I was talking to her the other day about, we'll talk about memories, about stuff, and you know, and I was telling her about my mum and some stories about my mum. And today she was basically, I was on talking to her and I showed her the album. And she actually came up with the idea of because what it is is like a plain page but I'm going to try and add like pockets and stuff to the front of it so I can get a lot of stuff in it because at the moment they're just plain I don't even know. So this is the way it looks. I have put a band on here though because I wanted to see what it looks like. So I put a band on here so I could slip some stuff in there. This is like a hair band. I got, I got a bunch of these today. I can't find anything. What? Two things. A spot. So I get these today. They're beautiful, nice and shiny, and I just like them. They're really cool. So I got them, and uh, yeah, I got them to put over like the pages and stuff like that, so that I can slip stuff in there, and you know, um, like tags and stuff like that. And then it does bend the page a bit, though. That's the only thing. I'm not too fussed because this is just for me anyway. So each thing's got the pockets inside. So what I was thinking was getting some pictures of my mum in like I don't know even know if I'm gonna do it like just my mum or just memories in general of people and like I can put my dad in here too if I want. Um I don't know. Or just make it all about my mum. I don't know. Because, like, although I do have some memories of my dad, I've not got a lot. Because, uh, I've not got, got as many memories of my dad as what I did my mum. Because, obviously, I lost my dad when I was 11. So I only had 11 years with my dad and 
Oh, I don't remember much because I was too young, so really, um, I don't have as many memories with my dad as what I did my mum, but I do have my memories of my dad, but I was thinking that I could just do it all about my mum really, and I was thinking some, as I say, just putting some of your pictures and some stuff in here and then using these bits and what I'll do is I'll make a card, like about the size of the page, journaling tags, I'll make some journaling tags, slip it in there and then I can write the stories in there, you know, and Yeah. Um and I think it's it's a good thing to have because then when I was gonna say when I'm older <laughs> thirty year old I'm like when I'm older. But at the moment I'm not ready to meet someone and settle down, you know, I'm quite happy being a single and you know, I'm quite happy with the way my, the way I am at the moment. But maybe one day I'll meet Mister Wright and settle down and have kids. And I think it would be good to have this. And then, like, when I do have kids and stuff, I can share the stories of my mum with my kids, you know, through this, um, so they know the the grand. So I think that would be nice, I think it'd be nice, or, like, I don't know, I, I think I will make this one about my mum, but I could always make one of myself, and put in things that's happened to me or whatever and make it like a jungle type thing and then that way when I'm gone my kids can look at it, if I have any kids that is, but my kids can always look at my book and have my memories in there and get to know more about me, you know. So I think that'd be cool. What do you think? You know, I think it'd be a cool idea to do something like that. Has anybody else done something like that? Well, he's probably how, huh? because like, it's probably a lot easier to do any albums. Um, and it's the same when it comes to your art journals, you know, you like to... A lot of people ask, like, what do you do with your art journals when you're finished? Uh, I've seen that a lot of times in a lot of the groups, people asking that question what do you do with your art journals and the majority of people tell them we keep them you know because it is it's like a diary you know of your your life you not know, so much see my my art journals isn't really about my life really i wouldn't say it's it's quotes of light or quotes that's meant something to me like if i not if i'm in a certain mood and a certain quote like explains my mood a wee bit then I'll use that and I'll, I'll make the page run the quote or I'll just make the page with the mood I'm feeling and then find a quote to go with it so it's kind of a journey like a journal of your art journey but it's also about like about you but there's just no really a lot of words, you know, it's it's more images and stuff like that. I don't even know, it's like, hang on two seconds, I'll be right back. Like, so I found my art journal and I kind of try and explain. A lot of the times it was just me experimenting. Um, but there's some pages in here that kind of mean something to me. Um, 
Four, four stubby, I've lost one of my ATCs. So this one here um, was my smoke snow queen. This is a photo manipulation I made. So that is part of my art. That was um, when I was learning folk manipulation and I was trying different things and it's like, like that is actually like three pictures in one. And then I put on the quote of from it's the lyrics from the the movie Frozen and it's Let It Go. And at the time of me doing that page was I was going through a hard time, um, I was having man trouble and I was angry and hurt and just feeling, you know, just annoyed and but I was trying to hide how I was feeling and stuff like that. Um, so the words was kind of relating to how I was feeling because I was trying to let it go. I was trying to let things go and feel better and not feel so sad and hurt and angry, you know. So that that was me trying to let it go and go, right, just let it go, you know. But that was how I was feeling at the time. Um, some of them are just prompts. This one here was the song of I'm Only Human and it's I can take so much until I've had enough because I'm only human. I bleed when I fall down, I'm only human, I crash and I break down. Your words in my head, nice in my heart. Um, you build me up then I fall apart because I'm only human. And it's a girl crying, and that's the blood. And same again, I was having man trouble, and I was going through a lot of, you know, other issues. And um, that was how I was feeling. I was like, lying to me, and all that kind of stuff and you can only take so much and then you just break and that, that was the stage I was at. Um, then I went on to doing some, because I was feeling so low, I wanted to put on some positive words to look at so that I could start thinking a bit more positively. So that was me trying to make myself a bit better, nice bright colours and positive thinking. So that was some words that I took out, encouraging words. Um, so that was that. That there was a prompt from Josie. And then I did this one. Now I did this one black and white because I was still feeling kind of low. But I also like the idea of black and white. And... At the time when I was going through the man trouble, I was talking to one of my friends and crying with her and whatever. And um, she was known how I was feeling, so she, like she knew when I was, even though I was trying to hide it for her, she knew I was upset. And now I don't really like this page because I've actually fell out with her as well. And then that there was my Fab Four page. I was just messing about trying out stamps. Uh, the Fab Four was obviously for the International Crafters, and it's me, Nikki, Josie, and uh, Eileen. So that was that. And then I did like an open page. This was actually um, a page, it was just the background, see the orange background with the texture paste and that on it. That was all I had, and I had that on that for weeks, and I couldn't think what else to put on it. And uh, someone suggested making like an autumn theme, and I had these leaves that I got from the works. And what I done was I printed out a tree, and uh, put it on some tracing paper, and then traced it onto some cardboard. Cut out the corrugated cardboard and made this. So I like that. 
so it was kind of my YouTube subscribers that helped me make that page, so that was cool. And yeah, uh, I'm still feeling low at this point, so I was trying to think of things, and I had hope that things were going to get better. And it's hope, and it means hold on, pain ends. So that was why I got that. I done that, and then that was another quote from Joseph, a eh, prompt from Josie, and I really love the way that page turned out. So yeah, I'm not gonna go through every single page, guys, but um, well, that one there. At the time I'm making this, I was thinking of Sunny, crafting Sunny, and uh, I was quite sad that she'd she'd passed away, and um, I decided to make a journal page um, and tribute to her because Sunny, Sunny had actually done um, a canvas with houses on it, mixed media houses, so I done this page for her and her tribute, her memory. So I was thinking about her when I done that page, so I was kind of low when I done that as well, because I was thinking of Sunny. And then I also done that one as well. But that was actually inspiration from an ATC that I done. Which I don't know where that is. And that's it really guys, I've not done really any more pages, apart from that one, I've done some abstract, that was my last page. So, yeah, so like, it kind of is, like art journaling, it's kind of about your feelings and stuff, but it's just that people don't know exactly, like, how you're feeling when you make it, unless you actually tell them they don't understand what you were going through when you were making that page and that, I think that's the joys of actually looking at people's pages because when I look at people's art journal pages I always think to myself what were they thinking when they done that page what were they feeling when they done that page what made them do that page you know because when I do pages sometimes as I say sometimes um, I just I just play, it's just to play and practice techniques and stuff like that. But there is a lot of times that I will actually sit down and do a page and kind of draw out my feelings and my thoughts, you know, um, and put my thoughts and th feelings onto the page through drawing, painting, even just splashing a paintbrush. Like if you're angry, just that you're, you know, if you're feeling angry at the time, get your anger out, get a paintbrush, stick it in some red paint and <laughs> splash it onto that page just to get your anger out. And, you know, people look at the page and go, oh, they've done a wee abstract page and they don't know that you were feeling angry when you did that. So, yeah, it's just, it's that is what it is, it's getting your, your feelings and thoughts so it's not all trapped inside, you just get it out and get it onto paper and that's what I love about the art journal. Um, it's the same as well like when people do prompts and it's hard for me to do prompts some of the times because I'm not like that and it's like I'm no one for sitting planning out how a page is going to look. I know that quite a few people do that. They'll sit and go, right, I'll put that here on this side of the page and I'll do that on that side of the page. Before they've actually done the page, they've got it all planned out in their head what it's going to look like. I can't do that. I have a rough idea of what I want on the page and what I want it to look like, but I can't, do, I can't like perfectly have it all planned out in my head what I want the page to finish it, what I want to put on my page. I, what I do is, I just kind of, and I'm sorry this video is really long guys, I wasn't expecting it to be this long. Um, if you're still with me, then I'm going to continue talking. If no, and I'm boring you, then just 
ret hårdt mig for at det var et okay. Hvor det ikke her er kære, der er tog i stav i sted, nu er jeg med at nogle af den amorforsen i sted. Så, hvad er jeg egentlig at gøre? Altså, jeg har en rough idea af, hvad jeg tænker på. Og jeg vil gå og grabe noget af min stuff. Og jeg vil... The main things I go for is like my scrap, um, because art journals is a great way of using up your scraps um, and your leftover bits of pages and all that kind of stuff that you keep. Because we all do it, we all keep them, don't we? And then we use them up and then we end up with more. <laughs> it's never ending supply. Um, but I usually just grab my scraps, grab my paints and a few embellishments and just stick it, you know, and then just for there, then I'll start thinking of, like, when I've done my background that, then I'll start thinking about what I want to do on the page. But the most of my stuff comes from how I'm feeling at the time. Um, so, yeah, um, I'll tell you now. Well, I've got a page on here then. Eh? I actually finished it though with the... Uh, no, it's not that one. Is it that one? No. And a lot of my pages actually come from clean-up pages. So like that one, that was a clean-up page really. Um, that page... Was it that page? You know what, I think it was this page. This page here had a lot on it. <laughs> what it was was it started off a lot of reds and browns and oranges. It was mere all red because at the time when I started this page I was angry, I was frustrated, um, I was quite, I quit smoking at the time. And it was still early, early on in my quit, and I was craving. I was angry, and I, I was upset with something. I was angry and upset, and I was having a bad craving. And I got my pain, and I started painting this page red because I was angry and frustrated. And then it just went horribly wrong. It just didn't look right, so I added like the brown in there. And like orange colours, like uh, it was a few days after it though, and black, um, and then I made some foam stamps, and uh, I used them to practice. I used this page to pr to like do little testers to see how well they stamped. So that's what that is. So I kind of used tested the stamps out on the page, and then Rita Marie. Uh, and it sat like that, just with the buttons and stuff on it for weeks, for weeks and weeks, because I could not, for the life of me, think what I wanted to do on this page. Then we and Marie done our um, No Boundaries course, and it was free. So I done that, and she gets supplied us with this picture. So when I covered her in, I thought, wait a minute, she might look good on that page. So I stuck her on, and then I was looking through stuff, and Sherry happens was nice enough to send me this twinchy and I thought that's perfect for that page so I stuck that on so there you go it started off as a angry frustrated page and turned into a steampunky life is wonderful page so it's really cool <laughs> it's amazing what, what you can do in a journal and how your art evolves um, from certain things like Gina Erin she does a negativity smackdown and um, so she'll like, write journal something about what's happened badly or uh, you know and then she'll change a page and make it something really nice so yes yeah, it's, it's cool I like it um, so yeah, that's why I like art journaling because it is basically a journey, your art journey, but it's also a journey of how you were feeling and what you were thinking. 
So yeah, the next time someone does, you watch an art journal page, think to yourself, have a think about, like, what were they thinking about when they were doing the page? And how were they feeling? You know, because that's what I do. I, I think, well, I'll look at the colours they use, I'll look at what they're actually doing on the page. And, like, if they're using, like, dark colours, then you think maybe they're feeling a bit sad. And, you know, um... But then again, like, I do suffer from depression. And they say that people who are depressed use a lot of blacks and browns and dark colours. I don't. I don't, I really don't use, I don't think it's true that people with depression, like, that's what they say, that a lot of people with depression and stuff use dark colours, but, or, or angry people use, like, darks and reds and whatever. I really don't think that's true because I suffer from depression, but I like to stay away from the dark colours because when you have depression, you don't want it to win. You do get days where you're like, oh, you win today, I'm going to just lie in bed and I'm just going to mope and feel sorry for myself. You do get the days, and I get the days quite a lot, but then the other side you get the days where you don't want to let the depression win and, you know, you don't, you want to win and you want to feel good that day and you're no, nothing's going to stop you if you're feeling good. So when I'm in the kind of days where I don't want the depression to win, then I'll use bright colours. I tend to use like bright pinks, bright purples, you know. And although purple is a dark colour, but I just love purple in any shade. But I tend to use oranges and like yellows and stuff like that. You know, see, there's that one. You know, look at the bright colours in that page. Obviously that one's dark because it's scratch art, but look at the, the bright colours underneath the scratch art. That's bright colours. That's very bright colours. <laughs> yeah, the orange isn't that bright, but it's going to be really bright, that one. Look at the bright colours on that one. Bright colours in there. So, that's the days where I'm like, oh, look how bright the ones are. <laughs> so that's the days where I'm like, this isn't going to beat me. I'm not going to feel down today. I'm going to get up. I'm going to do some art. I'm going to do whatever I've got to do in the only of my day. Um, so yeah. So anyway guys, I am going to go because I've rabbited on like a lot. But I just wanted to come on and like say some, like talk about my views on things and Oh, tell you my thoughts on art online and stuff like that. Um, it's amazing what you do in it. It's like I started off talking about an, an album and about how I'm going to put memories in it, and then I've went a big spiel about art online. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He's probably sitting there going, Oh my god, that woman talks so much, lot of rubbish. But I have been told that I'm very wise. Um, yeah, I've been told I'm, I'm quite wise as well. <laughs> um, I think uh, quite a few people have told me I'm quite wise and stuff. <laughs> I think Shannon Green was one of them. But uh, she she um, can't understand a lot of what I'm saying. <laughs> but she loves my accent. <laughs> um, and... Um, Betsy Doodle was one of them as well. Betsy Doodle, am I saying that right? Aye, Betsy Doodle, she was one as well. So, yeah, it was a good compliment. <laughs> but yeah, I get a lot of stuff running through my head and I tend to just. My bra's, tell, my bra's always telling me shop. Just don't talk real people, just shut up. <laughs> you talk too much. <laughs> oh, sometimes I don't talk at all when, when I don't talk at all, he's 
constantly ask me, you alright? You okay? You're awfully quiet. You alright? And then there's other times where I will just sit and rabbit on like a budgie. Which is tonight and I just want to talk. So, Do you ever get that way? You just want to talk? And you guys here are the only people I've got to talk to because I've nobody to go. I, I, I stay alone. So I can't talk to anybody. I could if I phoned them. But I don't want to waste money on my phone. So I'll just come on and talk to you. So anyway guys, um, the joys of te technology though is you can fast forward me and rewind me and stop me and pause me and whatever <laughs> so um yeah so anyway I'm gonna go guys and probably go to bed since it's like ten past two in the morning yeah so I'll speak to you soon guys and uh, hope you have a nice night or morning or evening whatever where it is wherever you are and what time it is where I visa. So I'll speak to you soon. Bye!